In this video clip, we're going to use Visual Studio 2010 to create a master page. And I'll explain what that is in a second. So first, let's create a new website. And I want to make sure it's C-sharp. Uh, we're using version 4 of the .NET framework. Empty website, and I'll call this example 6. EXO6. All right. And click OK. A lot of times when you're creating a web page, you have like, you know, a header area where you're maybe going to display your logo or banner. Um, and maybe menus and maybe even footer items that you want on every page. And the problem is if you create, you know, the more pages you create, you have to copy and paste that code on every web page. Well, with a master page, uh, that you don't have to do that. So what we're going to do is do a new item, add, right click on the root and do new item, and choose master page. And you'll notice the extension is dot master. You can have more than one master page. I'm going to create one here. I'm going to call it main dot master. This will be the main one the public sees. Right, the cut my customers. All right, and uh, click add. And you'll notice when you come in here, I'll come into the code window, and you have the design window. You really can't preview the master page in a browser. Okay, we'll show you that in a little bit. So I'll just say in the title tag here, um, master page example. All right, and then notice there's content placeholder tags. All right, this is where uh, when you create a new page, the content for that new page, this is where the content will be displayed. So content that's going to change from page to page uh, would appear here. So let's go ahead and rename this. I'll just rename it Form Master or Main, I guess is my naming convention. And what I want to do now is create using div blocks, and this will change with HTML5, but I'll use div blocks right now to create my uh, layout. So I'm going to put a wrapper on here, a div wrapper, div block for wrapper. And I'll cut this ending tag and put it down here. Right. I'll indent this a little bit. And I'll call this ID, let's just say we'll call this the content area. So div content. All right. <clears throat> and now maybe I want a heading area. Let's just say I want a div block for that. And we'll style this a little bit too, so you'll see how this looks. That's styled with a real basic style. So this is our header area. And one more, we'll just keep it simple. You could have many div blocks, many types of layout structures. Div footer, right? Ah, come back here. Oh, if I could only type. There you go. Okay. All right. So in the header area, let's just put, um, you know, our logo goes here. All right. And you might want to put that in a, you'll style that. Maybe you put it in a span tag or some other tag. Uh, we'll put something here. Um, content. All content goes here. And in the footer, we'll say, you know, copyright, typical footer stuff, you know, 2012 or whatever the year is. Okay. <clears throat> so now we have our master page. All right. Now let's create our, you know, our main page. We'll just right click to a new item and let's do default first web form default. But now notice there's a checkbox over here that says select master page. So I'm going to select that. And when I click on add, it'll prompt me to choose a master file, right? Right now I only have one. I'll click OK. And when I come into it, I have two content placeholders. Normally we would change the name of these placeholders, but you know, right now I'm just going to leave it as placeholder one. It's really not going to hurt anything. This would be for the heading. If I want to put different things on this page in the heading, that's different from the, the other pages. But right now I'm just going to do the content. So I'm just going to say this is welcome to our website okay and I'll put this in a h1 tag so it stands out a little bit let's just do that so we have some other content on here oops h1 <clears throat> and let's put the ending tag over here like this right and also you might want to put a uh, div block for menus but I'll just put a menu item in here as well so uh, we'll create another page called about us let's say so we'll just do about, right, that SPX, and about us. Again, this would probably be in a different area. Maybe you would include this in your header. Um, not here. So I have a default page. And now notice it doesn't have a body tag. It's a lot different than a regular page, right? The main, the uh, master page has the body tag and it had, you know, typical, you know, HTML type tags on it. But when you use a master file, you'll notice the, the tags are not there for that. Right, it's just the content. 
So let's right click and create a one more uh, page, new item. We'll call it about that ASPX. You know, a little history about our company. And we'll select the master page again. Choose main. <clears throat> and now it comes in again. And what we'll do here, same sort of concept. We'll just say, uh, and again, I'm just keeping it really brief here, right? H1. Did I do H1 on the other one? Yes. So H1, about us. Okay. And then let's provide a link back to home, our default page. All right. So we'll do that. Go home. <clears throat> All right. Now let's preview this in the browser. So you can't preview the main or the master page in there, but you can do the default page, the other one. So I can control F5 or click on the preview and browser button. And the, I have mine set for Chrome. And this is not styled real well. We're going to style it in a second here. You'll see what happens. But I'm just trying to show you the text in our logo goes here and about. So this is a um, default. When I click on about us, notice that doesn't change. Notice that this where it says all content goes here. That is in the um, the area in the master file that won't change as well. If I go back to master, right? It's outside the placeholder tag. So that's the stuff uh, for each page what really appears inside the content placeholder. All content goes here is still on the master, so that's on every page, right? And back and forth, and the footer. Right? So that's a real basic example of how it works. So how does this work if we style it? So let's see if we can do it to make it look like a, a semi-decent web page. So I need to add a style sheet, and I'll do a new item. <clears throat> and let's come down here and find a, the style sheet, right, yeah, someplace. Right, oh, come on, there it is right here. And I'll just call it styles, right? Now the other thing is if you had very, if you had a lot of web pages, you'd have to, uh, if you wanted to use an external style sheet, you would have to what? Um, link all, all, all your pages to that one style sheet. So let's just do font size medium, right? Colon, maybe I'll choose my font family. Then I want to use colon and I'll do uh, I'll let the Calvary font, so I'll try that one. And if it doesn't have if the user doesn't have the Calvary font, we'll do sans serif, any sans serif font. Okay. Then let's use the IDs. We'll use the div wrapper, and we'll make a uh, sort of a box, a square, so we can design. We'll say the width uh, is going to be what? Let's just make it small. We'll make it like uh, 700 pixels, and margin call an auto right that will center this on this and on the page and we'll make we'll put a border around it so we can see it's so a border one pixel we'll use the shortcut version one pixel a solid border and we'll make it black right, you can look up these styles later then we want to do div header right <clears throat> and let's see we want the width to be 100 percent inside the the wrapper right the header is going to be contained inside the wrapper and let's give it a height. Oh, we didn't give the the body or the wrapper height either. Let's see the height's 100 pixels. And let's say the height for the whole page is going to be, um, uh, we'll say a, a height of, say, uh, 500 pixels, right? Okay. Uh, and then what do we, we want to do um, float left. We probably won't need this here, but you might want to get in the habit of putting these in here. Position relative. When you do a lot of diff blocks, you sort of want them to float to the left. <clears throat> and we want to give it a background color. So let's do background color, background. <clears throat> and then you have to pick a color, right? So I'm just going to pick um, navy for right now. And I'll pick a, a font color. So let's just say the color of the text. We'll make it white. All right. And maybe we want the <clears throat> uh, font weight or font size to be. In the header, maybe we want the default font size to be large, All right? So large, and also let's make sure maybe we want it to be centered. So text align. Oops, I got this wrong here. You need a semicolon, right? And then text align. Maybe we want all the text to be centered, right? And then we need our closing brace, right? <clears throat> now for our content, right? Do the content. And maybe we want the same thing. Let's just say a width. 
and it sits 100% inside the wrapper. And the height, we want to make it so it adds up to 500. So let's just say this is three, um, 375. We'll have 25 pixels for the other one, right? Float left, relative. So we'll copy this in. And we'll take the default font, what's on the body for this. So we'll just copy this, like so. So that's pretty much the, uh, the content. And then last, we'll do the footer. And again, we want this to be 100%. Let's just copy this whole thing here. All right. 100%. Now the height there is 25 pixels. I think that will add up to, uh, to 500. Float left. Maybe we want the font to be a little bit different. So maybe font size right, is small. And maybe we want it to be centered as well. Text align center. Okay. So let's try that. Copy that. And now, like I said, you'd have to link the style to all the web pages, right? But what we have to do is do it in the master page. So in the head section, right, what you can do is just drag over your styles. Just drag it over and let it go over there and I'll create the link for you. And now when I preview this in the browser now, is it up here still? Now watch, if I hit refresh, I might want to make the footer the same color as the uh, as the header so you can see now you can have your logo here it sort of styles it just right and again I didn't do that but maybe we want to do that so uh, if I go back to styles <clears throat> I might want to change it so the background is navy color is white again might want to make the font bold as well I could do that let's just do this one more thing here and make the font color white And now let's see what it looks like. And so that's a quick way to create a style and using a header. There we go. And uh, we can put another uh, div block if we want inside our master page. And sometimes if you want to do a menu, right, you could create another div block, say right here, put a div block in there. And that's where you can put your menu. So your menu, if you have a menu bar going across, would it be in all of your pages then because it's in the master. Okay. So it's a quick look at how to create a master page and how it can be applied on multiple pages.